afternoon everyone so today now we'll be discussing about the game theory so first of all we'll discuss the brief history of the game theory so it was first given in 1913 by e zermelo uh, which who provided the first theorem of the game theory uh, which was associated to the chess and uh, in 1928 john von neumann pro proved the minimax theorem uh, in 1994 john von neumann and oscar morgenstern wrote theory of games and economic behavior in 1950 to 1953 john nash described the nash equilibrium in 1972 john maynard smith wrote game theory and the evolution of fighting what so first of all what do you understand by the game theory uh, game theory is a study of how to mathematically uh, determine the best strategy for given conditions in order to optimize the outcome there are some basic method methods or terminology which are used in the game theory so we'll be starting with the first one which is the player the competitors in the game are known as players suppose in a game of cricket there are uh, two teams and in one team there comprises of 11 players so that 11 persons or are, are called as players a player may be individual or group of individuals or an organization for example organization can be any of any type right and the strategy for a player is defined as a set of rules or alternative courses of action that he should adopt a strategy may be of two types pure strategy and a mixed strategy pure strategy if the player select the same strategy each time then it is referred to as pure strategy in this case each player knows exactly what the other player is going to do the objective of the players is to maximize gains or minimize losses mix strategy when the players use a combination of strategies and each player always kept guessing as to which course of action is to be selected by the other player at a particular occasion then this is known as mix strategy thus there is a probabilistic situation and objective of the player is to maximize expected gains or to minimize expected losses the other one is optimum strategy a course of action or play which puts the player in the most preferred position irrespective of the strategy of his com competitor is called an optimum optimum strategy payoff matrix each combination of a course of action and and an event is associated with a payoff which measures the net benefit to the decision maker the accrues accumulate from a given given combination of decision alternatives and events conditional profit values or conditional economic consequences value of the game it is expected payoff of play when all the players of the game follow their optimum strategies the game is called fair if the value of the game is zero and unfair if it is a non zero payoff matrix when the players select their particular strategies the payoffs gains or losses can be represented in the form of a matrix called the payoff matrix so these are some of the basic terminologies which we have discussed which are used in the game theory now i'll be discussing another point which is called a saddle point saddle point is known as the point of equilibrium in the theory of games it is a smallest value in its row and the largest value in its column there are certain steps to calculate to find out the saddle point uh, the first one is select the minimum value of each row and put a circle around it and the next step is select the maximum value of each column and put a square around it the value with both circle and square is called the saddle point so there was a theory which was given in theory of games it's called uh, uh, Two person zero sum game. Uh, so what we call it as a why we call it as a zero person sum game. Two person zero sum game. Uh, 
uh, when there are two competitors suppose player a and player b it is called a two person game in case the number of competitors exceeds, exceeds two say n then the per game is termed as a n person game for example if players become three four five six seven and so on right so it becomes a n person game right uh, zero sum here means that the algebraic sum of gains and losses of all the players is zero that means a person's loss is the a person's gain that means the exact value uh, if we sum up sum up sum it up uh, will be getting a zero zero sum game with two players are called two person zero sum games in it the loss of one bet exactly equal to the gain of the other if sum of losses or gains is not equal to zero then the game is of non zero sum game right if the sum of losses or gains which are made by the player is not equal to zero then it's called non zero sum game so there are certain steps which are not listed in my uh, slides right uh, so i'll be discussing uh, through my own notes the first one is uh, to calculate the two person zero sum game right uh, write the payoff matrix then apply maximin or minimax principle we will discuss what uh, ma maximin or minimax principle is right if there is a settle point if you find out the settle point then identify the value of game and write the optimal strategy for the players if not then find out whether it's a 2 2 by 2 payoff matrix game if yes then solve by using analytical or matrix method for mixed strategy games and if not use dominance rule to reduce the size of the payoff matrix to either 2 by 2 to or 2 into n or m into n size right and if you solve by analytical or matrix method for mixed strategy games strategy games uh, the payoff matrix has to be reduced to 2 by 2 automatically because that's uh, that's how you use matrix method or mixed game strategy method right if the matrix is reduced to 2 by 2 the next step will be uh whether to check that uh, if it's a 2 of 2 matrix and if it's a 2 of 2 matrix then apply the analytical or matrix method if not then try to reduce into 2 into n or m into n m into 2 size right then solve using uh, if it is reduced then solve using the uh, matrix and the analytical method or uh, matrix method like we'll be discussing in the further slides or further uh, uh, further lectures to come right and uh, in the end if it's not reduced to a 2 uh, into 2 or 2 into m into or m into 2 matrix then formulate a lp problem and solve so uh, again now i'll be discussing some of the assumptions which uh, are listed uh, in my slides each player has his own choices from amongst the pair strategies player a is always the gainer and player b is always the loser that is all all payoffs a short in terms of player a let aig be the payoff which player a gains from player b if player a chooses strategy ai and b chooses bj then the payoff matrix of a is like this so this is a payoff matrix of a theory of games where uh there are two players player a and player b and uh, there are different from strategies and the cost and the cost involved around it so i here consider an example of a two person zero sum game where uh, a person consider two person coin uh, tossing a game tossing game right uh two persons have are uh, po uh, coining a toss right if each player tosses an unbiased coin simultaneously that means that both are both players are uh, tossing the coin simultaneously player b pays 2 rupees 7 to a 
if it's a head and head that means that on both the for both the person gets the head then player b has to uh, pay rupees 7 to a right and if it's a tail tail then uh, rupees 4 right otherwise player a pays rupees 3 to b then that means in other all other conditions that player has to pay rupees 3 to b right this person this two person game is a zero sum game pure strategies for players for players are h and d pure strategies means that uh, that uh, both the players get the head and uh, both the players, or probably both the players get the tail so this is a maxim and minimax principle which we discussed in the steps to calculate the two person zero sum game for player a minimum value in each row represents the least gain to him if he loses his particular strategy then the player a selects a strategy that maximizes his minimum gains this choice of player is called the maximum principle and corresponding gain is called a maximum value of the game on the other hand player b likes to minimize his losses the maximum value of each column represents the maximum loss to him if he chooses his particular strategy these are written in the matrix by column maxima he will then select the strategy then min that minimizes maximum losses this choice of player b is called the minimax principle and the corresponding loss is the minimax value of the game if the maximum maxi min value in equals the minimax value then the game is said to have a settle point that means the equilibrium has been established and the corresponding strategies are called optimum strategies the amount of payoff at an equilibrium point is known as the value of the game. So this is how we solve a maximum or minimax principle problem or I would say a two person zero sum game problem. Right. Uh, thank you so much. We will be discussing more on this theory of games in the lectures to come. Thank you.